If you were ever a TikTok aficionado like me, then you would have seen a lot of TikTok videos like these. But not everything on TikTok is meant to be inspirational. Some of them are meant to just tickle your funny bone. Bhai, ye tumhari girlfriend hai kya? To be. Bhai, sach mein tumhari girlfriend hai? To. सरकारी नौकरी का कमाल है बे सकल देख कर लड़कों को ना करने वाली लड़कियों सुन लो एक सरकारी नौकरी फेंक के मारूंगा सारा सारा खानदान हाँ बोलेगा बाय नाउ यू प्रोबली थिंक दैट यू गॉट अ कम्प्लीटली रॉन्ग वीडियो वट एवर वॉज टोल्ड टू यू ऑन द थम नेल डजेंट मैच द कॉन्टेंट हियर वाई एम आई टॉकिंग अबाउट टिक टॉक वीडियो वेन दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द अग्निपथ प्रोटेस्ट but they are connected these are not just any ordinary tiktok videos i've chosen two themes deliberately the first is about the will the passion amongst young indian men to join the army the army is a great leveler everyone from any background can hope to join it and especially in these times of extreme nationalism it provides great prestige great respect to people who work in the army the second comic theme is about sarkari naukri a government job and mind you these two are connected across india young men dream of joining the army not only because it's a prestigious job but also because it's a secure job it promises good financial security with a pension and perks which lasts almost throughout their lives a soldier's job combines all the ideals of machismo in a patriarchal society it is secure it is well paying it uh, garners respect and it also caters to the extreme nationalist identity of young men that we see around us today kyun mare hum sanam ke liye na degi dupatta kafan ke liye marna hai to maro vatan ke liye tiranga to milega kafan ke liye so why has the agnipath scheme caused so much heartburn and anger on the streets right now There are many reasons but I'm going to only focus on two. The first of this is the age limit. Now, anyone who wants to join the army knows that in most posts the age limit is actually 21. In some cases in technical posts it goes up to 23 and in some 27. So that should not have been the problem. The problem is what comes to point number 2 which is the duration or the length of service which is just 4 years. But I'll come to that later. Let's just look at what this age bracket means now um, we have data from cmi for employment what pe- young people want in terms of employment when it comes to age brackets and i'm going to take the two age brackets that are relevant for us which is 15 to 19 and then 20 to 24 in the first group which is late teens only 7% of young people actually want to work right only 7% that's because most of them are studying but by the time they enter their 20s they start looking for work they want to work so if one looks at the labor force participation rate of those who are actively seeking work or those who will work if they get an opportunity then that number rises from 7% straight to 38% but that is both male and female if we only look at young men in their early 20s that that number is likely to be 60 to 70% now there are 5.4 crore young people between the age of 20 to 24 who are looking for work who want to work only 2.8 crore of them have work that means that the unemployment rate there is about 48% This is a massive unemployment rate which explains the anger that is bubbling over onto the streets and this is where reason number 2 comes in which is the length of service now imagine a 22 year old young man in a low middle class home uh, there's pressure on him to start looking for a job start earning so that he can share the financial burden of the family there's increasing pressure on the parents from society at large from relatives to get the boy married off to some young girl and he needs a job to do it and a secure job to do it traditionally an army job has been great prospects for anyone who wanted to get married but if that job is only going to last till the time the young boy or young man is going to be 26 years old then who's going to marry him but the counter argument there is that if someone has worked for 4 years even if he does not get absorbed into the regular army which is 75% of the 
Agni Vees, even then they'll end up with a corpus of about 11 lakh rupees at the end of the four years. 30% of it is forced saving from their salaries. It will be deducted. They'll only get 70% in hand. 30% equivalent will be given by the government. So a total of more than 11 lakh rupees. Those are the calculations for those who join as Agnivis. But what after that? What is that 11 lakh rupees going to be used as? To become entrepreneurs? To run their own businesses? To become self-employed? Is that what the logic is? But if that is the case, why would they want a government job in the first place? In fact, studies done over the last few years have shown us that private jobs and entrepreneurship has completely lost its charm when it comes to young people in India. Look at this graph on your screen, which is uh, from a survey, a couple of surveys by CSDS CAS, and it shows you that youth preference for private jobs and to run businesses has almost halved between the mid-2000s to the mid-2010s. And reports suggest that that preference has actually dropped even further over the last few years. This is why there's so much anger on the streets. But it is not only about a job. Yes, of course, there's the issue of financial security, but also it is an issue of prestige, of status, and of their identity in these extreme nationalist times. That's the show today. Keep watching News Click, like this video, share it as well, and subscribe to our channel.